Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira X-Ray tutorial, we are going to learn how to import the test cases within Jira X-Ray. So importing test cases within Jira X-Ray is pretty simple. And if you follow the overall process and the documentation that is being provided by Jira X-Ray, things are absolutely simple. In case there are some failures, you can go ahead and play around apart from whatever I'm teaching in this particular video. I'll be trying to cover most of the important aspects so that even if you are transferring thousands of your test cases from other tools, you will be, you will be able to customize your file accordingly and then import the test cases. Now, X-Ray provides X-Ray test case importer, which is an extension to the Jira importer. So Jira importer is already there. The plugin is there and X-Ray test case importer is an extension to that particular plugin. And then we'll be importing the manual test cases from the CSV or comma separate value file now few key things to remember is that these are the three mandatory fields basically the test case identifier the summary and the action along with this I have noticed that I was getting error when the test type is not included there as well. So test type needs to be included as well because in the X-ray, if you have been following my old videos or the previous videos in this series, the test type is cucumber, manual, and uh, the, there is one more issue, uh, one more test type, right? Or a generic basically. So generic, manual, and cucumber. So you have to specify what, which test type you are actually specifying. So I believe there, there needs to be one more point here uh, which which might be missed in this particular case so let's see what will be the structure of our test case if for example you have exported your test cases in the excel file from hp alm or any other tool and now you are migrating to jira x-ray so important aspect here is that when you are up having this particular excel sheet right so you can create a csv file from excel and it will look exactly like this sheet now the most important thing is that you we need these three fields right so we need the test case identifier the summary and the action now our test case will have the key information which is basically the steps the test step test data and expected result right this is the basic information that goes into the test case along with who created who is executing so there are a lot of other uh, fields that can be present in the test case as well now we'll do a very basic import okay first and then i'll tell you how you can customize your sheet and learn the concept so you can do the complex imports as well okay so these three steps i have already copied right and i have pasted them here so there is a test step there is a test data and the expected result very important information that needs to go there along with that we have the test case id the summary and description of the test case right now if you see here the first test case the test case id of these four steps here is just number one so this shows that this is first of the test and this test has these four steps the highlighted one right so this will be considered as one test and it will be imported all at once with these four steps in jira x-ray now along with this we also need a test type so what we'll do is we will insert a new column there and we'll say test type and here we'll say this is a manual test type right and just put the manual test type there okay and save it now we have the test steps test data and expected results so this is basically how your sheet or the test case sheet that you want to import in jira x-ray will look like now in order to save this as a comma separated value important thing is go to file right and then click on save as wherever you want to save it select that particular folder and make sure that you save it as from the type select dot csv comma separated value okay and then provide the name say for example i will provide the name as sample test hyphen test one dot csv and save it so this file got saved on my computer right now i can go ahead and import these test cases into jira x-ray so in order to import, we'll go to the Jira here and I have created another project, which is RCV Academy mobile app. OK, so if we go to this particular project, I have already configured X-ray for this particular project. So the issue type test is there, right? So basically, if you'll see if I click on create and show you the issue type, you will see the issue type test test set and everything which is coming from X-ray is already present there. OK, and I can see the testing board here. Now, in order to import, you have to simply go to the project scroll down and go to the testing board 
click on the testing board and you will get the test case importer utility from the board itself let it load and i'll show you where you can get it so you'll see we simply click on this option so it will open the testing board scroll down and you will see the test case importer from here so click on test case importer and then we need to select in order to get started we need to choose the import format okay so we'll select the csv you can have a json format but that will be a bit complex because it's not as simple as looking at the test cases like this right even if you just open your csv file into a word pad right you will see something like that or text pad so you'll see a csv file something like this which which looks pretty complex but actually it's just this tabular if you open it in excel it will be showing in the tabular format where you can you can easily manage your test cases that you want to import so we'll select the csv right we'll choose the file that we want to import and the file that we want to import is sample hyphen test dot csv i'll open this okay and if you have already imported before you will see that you have the existing configuration you can save it and you can use the existing configuration if you have already imported before but we are doing it for the first time so we'll simply go ahead and move next and you will see that the csv delimiter because it's a comma separated value file there is a delimiter is comma right simply move next and then we have to specify which project we want to import these test cases to so we want to import it to the new project rcv academy mobile app okay and then if you have already defined the project in your csv import right there is an option that you want to import some test cases in one project and some in other there there is a possibility as well but ideally you will be following this approach wherein you will be importing the test cases in a particular project and then leave it as default list value delimiter and the date format if there is a date format in your sheet you format it accordingly now this create test repository folders if you want to create a test repository folder in the x-ray right x-ray repository then you enable this and you have to make sure that you have specified the repository folder in your sheet as well we will cover this in after we do this first import successfully okay so let's disable this and click on next now this is the key aspect of the import that we have to map so whatever now you see here we are having the csv field which is coming from the sheet right this is the sheet so tcid summary description this is the heading header that is being selected or being displayed here in the import right these are the fields so now you can imagine say for example tomorrow if you have another extra column here in your test case file that you have saved as a csv file say for example report or assign it accordingly you simply you will get that here and you simply have to map that to the jira field if you do not want to import that particular field you simply say don't map this field right so it's as simple so it doesn't matter how many complex fields are there priority severity etc if you want if you map these fields correctly in your jira instance then the import will happen very smoothly so tc id will simply map it to the issue id summary will map it to the summary in jira right and we'll say summary description will map to description and then test type will map to x-ray test type right so this is important okay because if you don't map test type it will fail that the test type is not mentioned and the step is basically your x-ray test steps right so test step field is action data and expected result so step is your action your data is test data and your expected result is expected result okay so we have mapped all the fields now whatever are present in the csv file that we have saved right so simply we need to click on begin import and it will start importing the issues so you'll see two issues imported successfully now we'll go ahead and simply click on two issues imported before that let's save this configuration file so we'll simply click on save this configuration file okay and it has basically downloaded that configuration file which we can use later so let's see the two issues that are imported we'll simply go ahead and click on two issues imported and you will see this is test one to be imported and two to be imported have been imported successfully in this particular project if you open the details of the test we'll see that the description is there right the title is there which is summary the description and then in the test details it should show us all the steps that we have specified right the the action is mapped to the step the data and the expected result right so all of these steps four steps are also imported successfully 
Now, tomorrow, say for example, your sheet or when you are importing the test case, you have the priority. The only thing you have to do is you have to map the priority field from your CSV file to the priority field in Jira and it will be updating the priority accordingly, right? Similarly, if there is any more field that you see here or any custom field in Jira that you want to map to, you can map accordingly. If you want to ignore, you simply say don't map this field, okay? So that's the only thing basically that is required in order to import test cases in Jira X-Ray, okay? Now, say for example, you want to also have the repository, okay? So that is another important thing. So say for example, test case repository. So I'll simply say add another column there, repository, okay? And here in the repository for this particular test, I'll say this is functional, okay? And then let's second one, let's say this is regression. Okay, so now this is updated sheet wherein I have, I also want to create a test case repository and want to create that this particular uh, test should go into this folder, functional folder, and the second test case go should go into the regression folder. So when we go to the X-ray test case repository, I should see these two folders being created and these test cases should be mapped to these folders. Okay, so let's quickly save this file, which is again a CSV file. I have just saved it and let's try to import again. So I'll go back here and let's go to the X-ray and let's update a few more details here. Okay, so we at least know that this is test three and this is test four. Okay, at least the description and the summary. So we can easily identify this is a separate test case. Okay, so I've updated these and go to the test case importer. So you can go either ways from more and apps to the test case importer or from the project testing board as well. Okay, so we'll simply say CSV, Let's choose the file, select this file which we have just updated. Okay, and then select next. We'll select the project which is RCV Academy mobile app. Okay, and then now this time we create test repository folders if needed. Okay, we'll simply select that next and we simply map the fields again. We can use the existing configuration as well that we have downloaded, but as of now, let me map it. Okay, so I'll simply say summary description and then the type and then the steps from the expected result and now you'll see the repository column as well okay this is coming from our new csv file that we have saved so we simply map it to the test repository folder okay and then simply begin import so you'll see two issues got imported successfully all right now if i simply go to the testing board right testing board you will see two folders functional and regression also got created successfully and one test case that was associated with the functional has been associated with the functional folder and one folder has been moved to the one test case has been moved to the regression folder okay so this is basically how easy it is to import the test cases in jira x-ray the only thing you have to remember is formatting and making your csv file taking care of the fields mapping the fields properly to the jira fields right so if say for example there is a field in your csv file but there is no such field uh, in in the jira or you are mapping it incorrectly the, the the jira field is a uh, drop down and you are mapping a plain text field from your from the csv file right so if that mapping is basically correct your import will go as smooth as possible okay and you can also go ahead and explore the test case importer with the existing configuration so say for example i want to use the existing configuration that we have downloaded so i'll show you that as well so we'll go to csv right we'll say use an existing configuration file so if we choose a file say for example choose this one and i say use an existing configuration file you can choose the file from here okay and let me keep that file quickly here in the x-ray import the file that i downloaded okay let me pause the video and i'll resume so i have kept this import configuration that i downloaded previously right so i can simply select that import configuration file open this okay and then click next what is the advantage of this 
I do not have to go ahead and map those fields again and again manually. Okay. So if I go next, you will see, I will simply move next. I just want to show you. And there is a configuration mismatch. Why? Because this, I didn't download the latest configuration. Okay. Which has this repository map to the test repository as well. But others you can see automatically all the Jira fields that were present in the configuration that I downloaded has been mapped automatically here with the Jira field. So this will save a lot of effort if you save the configuration. If you have say for example 20 fields instead of doing it every time manually you save a configuration once once you have uh, imported successfully right and then go ahead and use that configuration to start the import okay so i've covered a lot of things mostly you won't be having any issues in importing the issues in jira x-ray after watching this video but in case you are having any of the issues want some help uh, please drop a message or comment in the comment section and i'll try if i can help out with any of those queries so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching